Some much needed relief is coming for people who are struggling to pay bills during this pandemic. As WBZ's Louisa Moeller explains, Governor Baker has now extended the moratorium on evictions and foreclosures through mid October. When it comes to food insecurity and joblessness, the pandemic is still surging in Massachusetts. Our state has record unemployment right now, and people are struggling to pay their bills. Which is why Lisa Owens of Group City Life is praising the governor's decision to move the end date for the state's eviction and foreclosure moratorium from August to October, postponing an estimated 20,000 eviction filings. But what happens on, on October 18th? The same wave of evictions is just sort of um, further into the pandemic. But Owens is calling for the legislature to do more by passing a bill protecting renters and homeowners from eviction and foreclosure for a full year and capping rent prices at pre-COVID levels. Indicates this is a significant hardship. We've got lots of landlords who have no rent coming in at all. Doug Quatroshi, head of the advocacy group Mass Landlords, says it's the mom and pop landlords who are now taking on the cost. MAPC, the Metropolitan Area Planning Council, estimates that there's $60 million a month of unpaid rent. His solution put it back on the state. The Commonwealth should guarantee rents out of future tax revenue. It'll be a long time before we're able to recover from this, and people will need a long time to recover. So let's just promise everyone that housing now and, and the costs will be paid somehow in the future. Earlier this month, the state launched a $20 million fund for emergency rent and mortgage payments that also helps landlords with some expenses. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.